Tarantula cat already called me a copycat because of the spiders that should be inside of this package. So, yeah, I got some new spiders. <laughs> And ever since my daughter was born, I said that I decided that I will no longer be getting... I mean, not that I will no longer get any animals, but I said that I will minimize the amount of new animals that I will get because I realized that I have more than enough of animals inside of the Dark Den and they basically only come here in the Dark Den to maintain all the animals and to record the videos or to build the enclosures. But I no longer come here to enjoy the animals, to just sit down and watch them to go through enclosures with like just general curiosity to see what is happening because I've been keeping them for now whoa almost nine years yeah I got my first tarantula in 2014 and now it's 2023 so yeah almost nine years of me keeping tarantulas so I have seen a lot to say the least at least when it comes to tarantulas so my decision is next through the course of next half a year to a year, I will be reducing the amount of tarantulas that I have. I was thinking about selling off like half of the tarantulas, but then I, as I went through the tarantulas that I have, I was like, no, no, I need this because of that, I need this because of that. And <laughs> by the time I reached the last tarantula, I realized that I only picked like 10 tarantulas maybe that I would be willing to let go. So <laughs> it won't be an easy process. So that's why I'm giving myself like a year to do that. But with that, I also decided that I will get some interesting and different non tarantula spider species. And this is the beginning of that. I, I didn't get rid of any tarantula, but I got new spiders. A bit contradictory, I know, but we will get there. Don't worry. Trust me. And this is a lot. <laughs> it seems that I got some freebies because I didn't order this many. So we need to figure out what we have. We only have some initials written here, so I will need to check the list of what I ordered to actually know what I got. So these are three different species of black widows, while these are all brown recluse. And I only ordered three, but I got six. And also two of these, while well, ordered only one. So I basically order this and i got this as a freebie so if i knew that the seller will give me freebies i would say no thank you but now they are here so ah, okay i will manage but as i said tarantula cat is saying that i'm a copycat because i'm getting black widows as she also acquired black widows but the truth is i've been trying to get the black widow for a very very long time for maybe i don't know five years or so because you know black widows not this species but uh, mediterranean mediterranean black widow is actually native to the coastal area coastal region of croatia and every time i would go on vacation i was actually trying to find one but i was never lucky enough to find one so now i decided to buy these but the search for mediterranean black widow still continues because they look completely different than these black widows these in fact are three different black widow species and this one is not even black so only this one and this one are black but these are still spiderlings so i don't think that they will show through colors and yeah, i can see some itself can't wait to check them out well these as i said are brown recluse and i didn't really had intention of getting them but i saw them on the list and i was like ah oh, what the hell they are so controversial and feared so it would be nice to actually document one and record it up close and see what all the fuss is about but now i'm faced with the problem that i don't have a nice proper enclosures for them these are all the acrylic enclosures that I have and even though I'm selling them I didn't even had an opportunity to announce on the video that these enclosures are now available on the webshop on the Dark Den webshop because within a few days of me putting them on the webshop they all got sold out I only wrote it on the Instagram and Facebook so now I'm waiting for the new batch of enclosures and I don't even have enough enclosures for myself. These would be ideal for smaller specimens. Currently I only have an offer these micro enclosures with top opening, but soon in the new batch I will get also the enclosures of this size with front opening and those will be ideal for this because you know spiders like these like to web up the top corners of the enclosure and then when you have a top opening every time you open the enclosure you destroy their web and with front opening you are actually avoiding that. So that's why I'm, my plan is to keep smaller species inside of uh, these with front opening. But yeah, currently I don't have them. 
and for adult black widows i have i think these three are adults let me just yeah this one is definitely adult and this probably so for them i will use this arboreal with front opening but i only have one of uh, right one and i have the early prototype that i accidentally broke you see i broke the door and it also whoop, this one got smaller hinges so they are more fragile while these one got uh, more beefier hinges but also you see the doors are on the other side unlike this one i realized that all of my enclosures are opening on the like this so that's why i want these enclosures to also open on the same side so i didn't really plan to use this enclosure but now <laughs> i don't have a choice i will need to use it thankfully i think that these brown recluse spiders are yeah small enough so they can temporarily stay inside of these cups of course i'll put the substrate in but then when i get new batch of these enclosures i will rehouse all of them i want to have all of my spiders in nice enclosures just like this you know and eventually i move all of these spiders inside of of these type of enclosures and since i'm recording this video in advance maybe by the time you are seeing this video the enclosures are already restocked on the web shop so go and check it out you can never know by the way i finally have a fan mail address after a long time and this is actually the first fan mail that i received on that address so yeah now i will open it and we'll check it out but from now on all the fan mail that i will receive i will open at the end of the video the information about the fan mail is in the description so it looks like i got some fan art from the chase family this is from penelope she's 12 years old and this one is from david and he's eight years old and from texas you see <laughs> a little minecraft spider uh, thank you guys for sending me the first fan mail to the new dark den fan mail address over here i have you see fan art wall and maybe it is time to refresh it up a bit with some fresh new fan art let's now finally check the spiders i'm really curious to see how big the oh this is tiny this is one tiny spider you see down there i can barely see it it looks like a regular house spider although these are technically a regular house spider so i'm not sure why i'm so surprised oh this one is bigger is it fine are you okay yeah it is alive because you see it actually molted in transit so <laughs> but this is significantly bigger than the other one i ordered spiderlings so this is kind of weird this one is something in between but are those really or a close spider you can actually see this one right here and the last two this one was kind of near but what are those markings on the abdomen is this really a brown recluse it looks completely different from what i expected you see this is the last one and it also molded in the transit for some reason brown recluse in my mind looks completely different and the scientific name of this species maybe it is different different species or something loxos telesa reclusa yeah that should be a brown recluse right i don't know maybe tarantula cat can tell me <laughs> i'm gonna bring some substrate and we will rehouse them so i will set them up the same way with this with this thing so they can web it up and that's basically it and when i move them into acrylic enclosures then i can do something more i don't know elaborate but there's not much you can do for them now to move them inside i'll just use a stick and poke them nothing special these shouldn't really be complicated to rehouse yeah there we go whoa don't you climb up hey hmm, looking at up close this is definitely a mature male i can clearly see the boxing gloves on his pedipops and did he molt in transit okay there is one tiny molt inside so it wasn't mature before uh, it was shipped to me but still definitely not a sling let me see if i can i want to show you the boxing gloves on him on his pedipops now you you see you see how his pedipops are fed at the end yeah that means that this is a mature male and definitely not a sling oh okay even though this is a male i don't want to lose it go inside no red alert red alert brown recluse on the on the run there it's back in the enclosure you now stay inside <laughs> okay let's get the others this one is actually much bigger so so i think that we can safely assume that this is a female thankfully they are they seem to be really clumsy walkers and really prone to panicking but now we can have a kind of closer look yeah so just like 
a regular spider that you found outside. And I'm still not fully convinced that this is a brown recluse. We'll see the comments on this video. Third one is also kind of small. But it looks... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Another escape. It looks a bit too a bit too big to be. Ah, stop! When I compare it with the mature male that we already got, this one looks to be a bit too big to potentially be a male that is still not mature. This one is just a tiny bit bigger than the previous one. <laughs> Look at this. Are you kidding me? It seems like these definitely want this to be a brown recluse handling video. They are doing everything within their power to, to make it like that. And even though probably nothing would happen, it would just crawl all over my hand and that would be it, I still don't want to risk it. There is just no point now. Two more to go and this is that definitely a fresh female. There we go. Oh, she's losing it. Panicking, she's panicking hard, trying to reach out, and there we go. Really cape. <laughs> ah, can you see it even? Yeah, I think you can. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, I don't want to handle you. Yes. Previously I was only joking that they are doing everything in their power to be handled, but now I'm convinced that they are doing it. These spiders just want to watch the world burn, but this is not a brown recluse, right? I need to pull an image from Google, let me just give me a second. As I knew that I've seen something completely different. You see, this is the image from Wikipedia and this is what I have in my mind. And now when you look at this, this is a completely different spider. Yeah, either pictures on the Google are wrong or this seller sold me something completely different. The marking on the abdomen looks almost like a black widow or something. And even the appearance looks black widowish. so... <laughs> I'm gonna wait for someone who actually knows how they look to comment or say. And if I received any information, I will write it. I will write it in this video. They are fast for not being fast. <laughs> and the first one that we will rehouse will be the real deal. Although the other species, despite of not being black, got the markings of the black widow. So you cannot really mistake it for not being a, a species of black widow. And they have some decoration. Although having some type of background would be a good idea. I just don't have anything now. So let me show you which one I can. Got. Ooh, don't, don't, don't. This one is Latrodectus. <laughs> this one is Latrodectus menavodi. So, so cool. Look at the markings and everything. You. And it is already escaping. See how it is holding on to its web. Come on, go in. In, in, in. There we go. That was easy and you've seen how in acrylic enclosure you can see, at least when it's new and fresh, you can see through it like perfectly. Hey, why are you trying to climb there? You have branches and everything on the other side. Please change your mind. And even though this one looks really, really nice, I still think that the Mediterranean Black Widow looks way, way, way better because it got black spots and everything. Hopefully you will see it once. That one I will never get because I really, really want to find one in nature. I want to find one personally. Oh, when she already climbed up. She's actually a pretty fast climber. Once she get a hold of something that she can actually climb because as you can see, unlike tarantulas and huntsman spiders or other similar spiders, this one cannot climb the plastic surface and glass surface, which is convenient to say the least. Okay, I will let it calm down a bit. And in the meantime, I'm going to rehouse the other one. And the enclosure setup will be the same, just substrate with some climbing branches. Although these branches even got leaves, you see. Diversity, haha. <laughs> the genus name is the same, of course, but the species name is, of course, different. Uh, it is called Latrodotus uh, geometricus. I 
something or geometricus latrodoctus geometricus or latrodoctus geometricus sometimes the c is pronounced as c and sometimes the c is pronounced as k or is it sometimes i forgot the old latin rules let's see if this one can go smoothly inside no 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 there and she's already outside. Pahaman. Stop with the shenanigans and go on this leaf. Yeah. Stay there, please. Let me record you in peace for a change. Look how she's panicking and whatnot. Yeah, scratching everything. Mm. But even though she's not black, she's still got nice appearance. And she's webbing all around. Look. Oh. <laughs> Did you see how she just went down on her web and then went back up? Or she, is she already webbing like this or what? No, I think that she's just trying to get away. You see how there is a red underneath on the underside of her abdomen. It's kind of tricky to show it, but she should eventually turn. Oh, there, there we go. If only she could like stop. <laughs> so active. Huh? Whoop, whoop. She's just zooming across the enclosure. What? She's like a no chill spider for sure. Now I have another one that is just a tiny bit smaller. So ideally I would need another enclosure of this size, but I don't have it. So I'm gonna use this with a top opening and then when I get a batch of these, I will just rehouse it. <laughs> That's the only thing that I can do. And for this one, I also have a different type of branch, you see? Again, providing more diversity within my setups. Very nice. Since I'm rehousing her from the top, this should go a bit easier. Yes, yes. There. Super easy and she actually went down. Interesting. Yeah, stop, stop there. Ah, for a second. No, no, you can actually see it. Can you? Yes, no? But you see the red underside. Oh, <laughs> she pooped. <laughs> that was just perfect. Ooh, where did the... And I cannot even find the poop. It is not even visible. <laughs> Hilarious. But this girl looks a bit more chill than the other one, right? She's not zooming that fast across the enclosure. And you can see the red underside really, really nice here. Yeah, and she's webbing. Yeah, she's definitely already webbing around. Enjoy a new house, but if she doesn't web up the top, I could technically just leave her inside. Yeah, we will see how it will develop. Last four all came within the same cup, so that is how I will just keep them. I'm just gonna move them all in the same enclosure. And they should actually be... Oh, I see one. One fell down. Okay, okay. This one appears to be dead, unfortunately. So, no four, maybe three. This is dead cricket and this is unfortunately, from the looks of it, not a mold but another dead spider. So that means only two. And I actually spotted two, but now I no longer see them. Yeah, I can no longer spot them, but I'm certain that two were inside. Because I dropped one and the other one fell when I was unpacking it. But it, it is probably hiding under one of these blocks of wood. And they were super tiny, so... It was a bit of a mistake to put that bark on the bottom. I will show them to you once they get a bit bigger. The species name is Latrodectus obscurior and this will be something that you will see in the future how it looks. I mean how they look if they survive of course. Let me check the black black widow. It seems that she did chill a bit but she's still moving around you see. She's still trying to find a way to escape. <laughs> Even though she should actually enjoy this enclosure. She will get food and a safe place to stay. So no, no need to panic. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm really happy that now I have black widows in the dark den. And I will actually try to catch those black spiders that are making a lot of trouble in the junglerium. Because 
they are kind of similar to Black Widow. I mean, at least the shape looks really similar. So maybe they are kind of similar species. I have no idea. But I will definitely get one one adult female and keep it inside of this enclosure together with all the all the Black Widows. Anyhow, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you are hyped for Black Widow feeding video. Make sure to thumbs up this video and comment something. If you want to support this channel more, there's a Patreon page and web shop. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. Apple every Monday and sometimes a live stream on Sunday. So see you again soon. Bye. -bye.